Time to do a live stream. Time to do a live stream. Time to do a live stream. Hello, everyone in the multiverse and beyond. This is your friend forever, Evan LaFavor, with a very important video. Today, we are going to be talking about the truth about the fact that the government is cloning human beings in underground laboratories and grooming them, grooming them to be unstoppable killing machines so that they can come above ground and replace you and take your place. And this is the truth. This is the fucking truth. I'm telling you, I'm fucking telling you the mother fucking truth. So believe me. Believe me when I tell you that this shit is happening, okay? The evil people in control of our government are fucking taking our DNA as soon as we're born, and they're cloning people, okay? And then they're training these clones to be killing machines so that they can come and kill us and replace us. I'm s What the fuck? God damn it. Who the fuck? Jesus Christ, who the fuck is this? Ringing my doorbell this late at night. Ugh. Who the fuck would be out here at this time of night? What the fuck?
What? Fuck, fuck.
once upon a time, there was a boy born. And along with the boy, a shadow was born. And when the boy got to enjoy birthday parties, the shadow was forced to suffer. When the boy got a Game Boy for Christmas, the shadow got a Tiger Electronic handheld. When the boy ate fruit loops in the morning for breakfast. The shadow was forced to eat two fruities. When the boy got to watch Gremlins the movie, the shadow was forced to watch Hobgoblin. Transformers. The shadow had to play with GoBots. When the boy got to watch E.T. the Extraterrestrial, the shadow had to watch Mac and me. I'll give you money, I'll give you anything, please just leave me alone, please, I'll give you whatever you want, please, I'll give you whatever you want, please just leave me alone, please. my god, oh my god, I just got back from seeing us for the very first time, and ooh, to the motherfucking we. Was it amazing? The only spoiler I'm gonna give you in this review is that us is fucking great. It is great. It is just what we needed as horror fans. The reinvigoration, a shot in the vein for the horror genre. Us has finally arrived. And after this review, I will be going into spoiler territory and giving you my spoiler talk that happens after the review. Because every good review, the only spoiler that should ever be in a review is whether or not the movie is good. That is the only spoiler that should exist in any capacity inside of a review. So I am here to tell you, this movie is worth your time. This is worth the price of admission. This is worth the ticket, y'all, because we Jordan Peele has done it again. Yes, if you were a fan of Get Out, just wait till you get a load of us. Ooh, we. Yes, yes. Now, all I'm going to tell you is this movie is a lot of fun, okay, it is a lot of fun to watch, um, the movie is expertly crafted, 
Us is expertly crafted, and you will enjoy every second of this movie. This movie is one of those movies that keeps you guessing. It keeps you guessing the whole time, okay? Us is such a great film. It was so much fun to watch this. It's definitely a movie I recommend seeing in the theaters. So Us was definitely worth the price of admission. Ooh wee. Was the movie scary? Yes. There are many, many terrifying moments in this movie with a little bit of humor sprinkled in here and there. And, you know, this movie, will it be everybody's cup of tea? I don't know if everyone in the world is going to love us, all right? Because, you know, some people just don't enjoy enjoying movies. They would rather bitch and complain and try to pick things apart and nitpick things as opposed to just enjoying it for what it is, all right? And as long as what you want to do is enjoy yourself, you will have a fun roller coaster ride of a time in the theater watching us. Okay? Us is one of those movies that makes you think is Jordan Peele the reincarnation of Alfred fucking Hitchcock? Because he takes things to another level in this film, and I'm so glad. That Jordan Peele is being empowered to make original horror movies. It is so hard in this day and age to get any horror movie greenlit that isn't already an established property or a remake or a reboot. And thank God that Jordan Peele has done the impossible and got his ability to do original films get these original movies greenlit y'all because ooh we us it oozes with originality it's an original concept it's a lot of fun y'all you cannot go wrong with us you want to see this one in the theater y'all but make sure you go there on a night where there's going to be some respectable adults at the theater you don't want to see this movie with a bunch of Ki punk kids that are going to ruin it for you, okay? You want to see this movie with a th serious audience, okay? So maybe that means wait till it comes out on a Blu-ray and DVD and digital so that you can watch it in the privacy of your own home. Because when I went and saw this movie, there were assholes talking th throughout the whole beginning of the movie, trying to find their seats, and they're sitting there talking to each other. What the fuck? So don't let that happen to you because this is one of those movies that you really want to be paying attention from the start of the fucking movie. The very first frame all the way to the last frame is important. It's important to this film, okay? And you got to keep paying attention so that you can connect the dots while you're watching this movie. Us is a fun fucking movie. Go see it or wait till it comes on Blu-ray and then see it. But do not go without seeing this fucking movie, okay? All right? You have to support movies like us. Please. We want filmmakers like Jordan Peele to continue to get these new and original horror projects greenlit. So go see this movie. What will you love about this movie? What did I love about this movie that you might love about this movie? Well, the score. The musical score is legendary in this movie, okay? that It's probably, maybe my favorite thing about this movie is the musical score. Uh, the soundtrack and the score was expertly crafted and utilized throughout this entire movie. And it really set the tone. And this movie has a great tone, all right? And... Everything's great. The acting, okay? What can I say about the acting? Oh my God, Lupita Nyong'o. Oh, I'm one. She is, Lupita Nyong'o is a fucking goddess. She is the best actress in Hollywood today, okay? Not only is she beautiful, she's talented beyond recognition. And in us, 
Lupita Nyong'o gets to shine like she's never shined before. This is a great vehicle for Lupita to showcase her talents, y'all. And the whole cast of this movie is great. The fact that they are playing all these ranges of complexity in their roles is amazing, okay? And it is worth your fucking time. I'm not even going to tell you what this movie is about. I want you to see it for yourself and discover that in the theater organically like I did. All I did was see the trailer before I went in. Thankfully, I didn't get any spoilers, all right? But this movie, even if you even if the ending of this movie or the beginning or the middle, any part of it is spoiled for you, it's not going to ruin the movie. And that's how good Us is, all right? Us is an amazing movie. The first time you watch it, the second time you watch it, the third time you watch it. Is it a classic? Is it one of these legendary pictures that becomes a classic? A classic within the genre. Did Us capture that? I think, um, you know, I'm not going to go as far as to say that Us is one of the most classic horror films of all time. But it's definitely got the potential to be considered in high regards for the rest of eternity when it comes to the horror genre. Like I said, the performances in this movie are amazing. The acting, the score, the direction, everything shines in this movie, okay? And... So yeah, go see Us. You're not going to be disappointed. And if you are disappointed by the movie Us, it's because you're thinking too hard about things. And you're, you know, you're not supposed to take everything so seriously. Just enjoy the film for what it is. Go on the ride. And from start to finish, Us is an amazing roller coaster ride that is worth your time every day motherfucking time y'all so go see us or wait till it comes on blu-ray such an amazing movie i could sit here and talk about it all day and i just might in the spoiler section that comes right after this y'all so if you've seen the movie us or you don't mind spoilers continue on from this point but i am your friend forever evan lefevre and when it comes to us I approve of this movie. Go see it. Where did you come from? Why do you look like me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know why they call it the Twin Cities? <laughs> Deep underground, in the tunnels, they've cloned everyone. Everyone in the Minneapolis, in the Twin Cities, has a twin clone. They are tethered to. <sighs> and we are forced to do everything you do. Every time you take a shit, I have to take a shit. Time you masturbated, I had to masturbate. Ah! I had no freedom, and now I've come to take the freedom back from you.
Why? What do you want? Please, I'll give you money. I'll give you anything. Please, just leave me alone. You see, when I was only five years old, my mother took me to the Minnesota State Fair. And I got lost in the Hall of Mirrors. And that's when I saw you. I could not believe that I found someone that looked just like me. And then you attacked me! Ah! And you choked me. And I woke up underground in a tunnel. And you, you took my place above ground. And everybody thought you were Evan LaFave, huh? But I. Evan LaFave. <laughs> spoiler alert, spoiler alert. You are now entering a world filled with spoilers, spoiler territory. Spoiler warning. Proceed at your own caution. That is the spoiler warning. Us. Us, 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 Oh, I love this fucking movie. I love this movie, y'all. All right? And anybody who's complaining about this movie is a jackass, okay? You're all entitled to your own opinions, okay? You're all entitled to your own fucking opinions, all right? But anyone who's overanalyzing this film... And trying to pick apart plot holes or inconsistencies in the logic behind the events of this film. Why? Why do that? Why would you let that ruin a film for you? Because the movie, that's not the movie's fault, okay? You have to accept the movie for what it is. And once you do that, you're in for a fucking wild ride. And sure, yes, look, duh. Duh, the big plot twist in the end, the big fucking plot twist. Like, it's not meant to be a huge surprise, okay? Nothing in this movie is some huge surprise. Jordan Peele makes it clearly evident to the audience what is going on in this movie because... He's that good of a visual storyteller. He's that good of a storyteller that he can communicate shit to you through his visuals and through his direction that he doesn't need exposition dialogue to fucking tell you what's happening in the movie. You just fucking get it, okay? You get it because he's good like that, okay? So... These people that say, oh, I predicted the ending, I predicted it in advance, and it was not a surprise to me. I felt smart. Well, that's what Jordan Peele wants you to feel. He wants you to feel smart. He wants you to feel like, hey, I figured it out before it happened, okay? Because this movie is not about a surprise ending. That's not what makes this movie great. What makes this movie great is... Yeah, it's not that big of a surprise, the twist in the end, all right? But the fact that you fucking, you get to experience, you know, you get to experience this whole roller coaster ride. So it doesn't matter if you can, you know what's really going on, okay? Because I knew what was going on the whole time, y'all. I knew that Lapita Nyong'o was the clone that she was the clone the whole time and the real version of her was the one that was coming to attack her family. I knew it the whole time. Which made the made the movie even better for me watching it, okay? Because watching it for the first time, it was almost like watching it for the second time, all right? And that's what Jordan Peele wanted to provide you, okay? You know, when you have movies like Fight Club that have this huge twist ending that no one saw coming, you have to watch those movies twice in order to get the full experiences 
that are provided in those films, okay? But with us, you get to experience that all in one all in one take. And you know, I'm not saying everybody gets it. Not everybody predicts the surprise twist in the end. I know I did. I haven't really talked to other people that have seen this movie yet. But it's like, yeah, okay. And you know, yes, yeah, sure, in the opening crawl. It talks about the underground tunnels that are all throughout the United States and no one knows what's going on down there. So it's like, yeah, it sets the stage. Jordan Peele is giving you the answers, okay? He's giving you the answers before he even gives you the questions so you can pass the test, okay? You just have to kick back and relax and enjoy this movie for what it is. And I love it because, look, the reason Jordan Peele made it kind of obvious what the surprise twist was going to be throughout the whole movie is so that you could understand the social com commentary on a more complex level the first time you watch it. All right. He sure Jordan Peele wants you to go back and watch us multiple times. I'm sure he does. OK, and you should you should watch this movie repeatedly to see all the social commentary and context that is put in subtext throughout this whole movie, all right? Because, I mean, there's so much cool shit going on here. It's like, regardless of the twist, regardless of the surprise twist, it's like throughout the whole movie, it's like here these clones show up and it's like they're there to replace the real versions and take their place and kill them and replace them. All right. What's so cool about this whole concept is that in order to survive, they have to become them. All right. The family has to become the killers. So either way, either they get killed by this crazy family and get replaced by them, or they kill this crazy family and become the killers themselves. All right. So I like that aspect beyond the surprise twist. I like that aspect. Okay. And yes, I like, I like the aspect that, you know, they're not trying to make the tethered into the bad guys. All right. That they're actually making you feel empathy for these people, okay? Because at first you think they're just psychotic, crazy killers, psycho killers, you know, that are clones of them, all right? But when you find out that these people have been abused and used and fucking really treated like shit and that these people are just forced to act out what the people above ground are doing all day, and they can't live their own lives. They have to, they're forced to live these other people's lives. Like that's horrible. Okay. Forced to feast on live rabbits, raw rabbits. It's fucking horrible, man. It is a horrible situation that they were put in. And Lupita Nyong'o's character. All right. She is sympathetic. All right. You see her side. You see her side of the fucking story. All right. And it is awesome. It is awesome that the woman you think is the bad guy is really the good guy, that she is there for revenge because of what the main character, the woman you think is the good guy is really the bad guy. It's a brilliant twist, y'all. And like I said, like Psycho, all right, in Psycho, you know, the twist in Psycho some people could see it coming. Some people didn't. It doesn't matter on repeat viewings. It doesn't matter whether you saw the twist coming or not. Because the journey and the destination are entertaining. They are satisfactory. And that is what makes this movie so fucking special, y'all. And like I said earlier, the fact that the, the whole cast plays dual roles. They're all playing two different roles. It's fucking brilliant. I mean, it's a great showcase of their ability to act and to act psychotic, to turn into these crazy killers. I mean, you can tell the cast had a lot of fun with this movie. And everybody shines in this movie. All the actors, I know I've 
I've name dropped Lupita Nyong'o so much in this review, but she definitely is the standout performance of the show. But everybody shines in this movie, all right? The father, the son, the daughter, they all shine. And then there's these antagonistic characters that you hate and you just want to see them get killed. And then you get to see them get killed, you know? It's great, you know? So... It's a satisfying movie. It's not a gore fest. It's not a gore fest. Um, there's a lot of comedy in there. There is a lot of comedy. And I heard a lot of people complain about the comedy in this movie and say that it took it took them out of the movie to hear to see all this comedy and these jokes and you know. But any good horror director will tell you the necessity of comedy in a horror film to add levity to give people a breather between moments of scares, okay? Moments of tension. You need a little bit of laughter to ease that tension, okay? And there is so much tension in this movie. And, you know, I was watching it with the theater and people were so scared, they were laughing, all right? They thought, they were reacting as if it was funny because they were so fucking scared at what they were seeing. That all they could do is laugh to ease the tension. All right. And, you know, I thought, I thought this movie worked. I thought it worked on all these different levels of complexities. And I will definitely be buying this on Blu-ray and digital when it releases later on in 2019. And I hope you do too. All right. Don't just see this movie once in the theaters. See it twice in the theaters if you can and definitely buy it on Blu-ray so that you are voting with your wallet that you want to see original movies like this. not just Because it's not just original horror movies that we want to see more of. It's original movies in general. Do you know why the 1980s were so amazing? It was because movies of all different genres were being greenlit. We had movies creating their own genres in the 80s because these experimental, amazing projects got greenlit like The Goonies and Gremlins and Back to the Future, all right? All these great original movies in the fucking 80s. And we want that to return. We're sick of remakes. We're sick of rehashes, all right? And the only way to stop getting remakes and stop getting reboots and stop getting rehashes is when a movie like Us comes along where the studios have given the faith to Jordan Peele to create an all-original movie. We have to support it with our money in the biggest way we can to prove to them that, yes, when they take a chance on new original projects, that that will be a payoff for them, okay? Vote with your motherfucking wallet and we will get better movies, y'all, okay? Stop going out and seeing crap and these reboots and remakes and shit. I mean, fine, support them, you know? You know, more, more for everyone. I want all movies to succeed, but when the success of certain movies are going to stop other original films from ever getting greenlit, then I would choose to rather have new, original, cool shit created like the movie Us as opposed to just some remake. And I cannot believe that these fucking, I don't remember who what article it was, Entertainment Weekly or some shit, or some stupid fucking YouTube channel, was like, what, what film should Jordan Peele remake? What would you like to see Jordan Peele remake? And it's like, dude... Jordan Peele does not need to remake shit. People will be remaking his motherfucking movies in the future. All right? He's an original, dude. Do not fucking talk shit about Jordan Peele like he's just some, you know, flash in the pan or some bullshit. He's a legitimate icon when it comes to horror directors, all right? All right? So show some respect. Go see us again. Support this movie. See it a fucking again, y'all. Pretend that you're you're a clone of yourself that came out of the fucking underground sewers and fucking go buy a ticket for that movie so you can see it again, okay? Again, all right? Because Us is fucking awesome. I loved it, you know, and 
it's a great post-apocalyptic movie. It takes the post-apocalyptic movie genre to a new fucking level. And it's an interesting and innovative and original concept. And I fucking love it. And you should love it too, y'all. That's why you should support this movie, okay? So Us, it was great. I loved it. What were some of my favorite scenes? What are some of my favorite scenes in the movie? There's way too many to name right now. But hey, this is a great movie. This is Us. And this is Evan LeFevre Reviews Us. This has been the spoiler discussion. So I want to thank you for watching this review. Do not forget to subscribe and share and like and consider becoming a patron on Patreon so you can support future Evanism and Evan LeFevre related content. If you want to see more reviews like this one you saw, make sure to subscribe and consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Ooh, ooh, wee. I'm so happy. I can't wait to see us again. I might have to go see it again, y'all. We'll see. We will see, y'all, because it's time to support movies like this. And it's time, y'all. Go to the theater. Enjoy us. And then go back again with someone who hasn't seen the movie yet and expose them to the movie and then talk about the movie afterwards. And let me know in the comments what you thought of the movie. I'm going to go chill with my clone, y'all. Did you see my clone? Is he not a handsome motherfucker, y'all? Ooh, to the motherfucking we, y'all. Let me look at some of the comments here on YouTube. Hey, Evan, I hate you. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck myself? What? You act like I have a clone of myself that I can just go fuck. Wait a minute. Hey, Evan clone. Anybody ever tell you you look kind of cute?